30. They were joined at the tapas restaurant by their friends Matt and Rachel Oldfield and Jane Tanner and her partner Russell O'Brien. I'm going to go and check on my little one. At about nine o'clock, Matt left to make sure his children were all right. Shortly after he'd gone, the remaining three people arrived. A few minutes after nine, I said to Kate, that's half an hour, I'm going to go up. And as I walked in, uh, I noticed that uh, their bedroom door was open slightly wider than I had left it. So I actually went into the room and I stood, I could see the twins clearly in their cot, and Madeline was lying there sound asleep. On his way back, Jerry stopped to have a chat with a fellow guest. Very late. Yes, it's yes, going oh. really, really well. I'm enjoying it. At about the same time, Jane Tanner went to check on her children. Her route took her past the McCann's apartment. Oh, good. Oh. Thank you. By the time the starters arrived, Everyone appeared settled for dinner. And then at 9.30, which is the time that I thought, right, I need to check, I stood up and at the same time, Matt stood up. No, 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 you stay. Matt and Rachel were actually staying in the apartment next to us, 5B. He said, I can pop in. So I said, OK, OK, I'll, I'll go next one. As Matt left the table, Jane's partner, Russell, also went to check his children. Matt um, went, checked, and when he came back, he said, everything all right? And he said, yeah, it's all quiet. All right. Yeah, is everything OK? Everything's fine and quiet. Right. Yeah. Russell stayed behind as his daughter had become unwell. Jane went to relieve him once she'd finished her meal. So at 10 o'clock, um, I got up to do the next check. Oh, I'd God. finished eating them, so I headed back to the apartment, the usual route. And I just stopped and listened in the living area for a bit, and it was all quiet. But it just caught my eye that the children's door was quite far open. And at that point, I thought it must have been when Matt checked and he's left it open. And as I was just drawing it over, it, it was like it had been caught by a draft and it just kind of slammed shut. And it was only at that point, really, that I kind of, as I opened it a bit, I, I kind of looked into the room. And I was, I guess I was looking at Madeline's bed and I couldn't, couldn't make her out. And then I realised actually she's not in that bed. And I thought, oh, I wonder if she's woken up, gone through to our bed. She wasn't in our bed. And that was, that was the first time where I guess, you know, the panic kicked in. And it was literally at that point, the curtains that say that were closed just kind of whoosh, and then I could see that the window had been pushed right over and the shutters were up. So, um... Sorry. <laughs> so... So I kind of knew straight away then that Madeline had been taken 